My name is Stephen Hill. I'm a wide receiver for the New York Jets, and I'm representing Gang Green Nation. Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm Amy K. Nelson, and right now I'm joined by Stephen Hill, and you are the new wide receiver for the New York Jets. Yes, right? <laughs> How does that sound? Oh, it's great. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. So, right off the bat, you are in New York. You're in the green room. You're waiting for that name. You're waiting for that, that car to be picked. And then the Jets pick you. What was that moment like for you? Oh, it was a great moment, uh, especially being there with my family and my agents. And, of course, getting drafted in the city that you're going to be playing for. So, it's really good. So. Was it, it must have been a little tough to sit in that room and, and watch all these guys, you know, go before you and probably think and wonder, all right, you know, where am I going? You know, who's going to make the call? What was that experience like? Um, it, was, it, was, it was pretty tough, but it really wasn't as tough. Um, I had the uh, idea that I was going to go either first or second round. So I was just, um, you know, you, you know, worst case scenario, if I don't go first round, I knew I was going to go second round. So it was, it was just uh, it was just a joint experience uh, with my family there in the green room with me. Now that's a nice thing to say, but there's got to be some moments, though, that are a little stressful. and. Mm, no, not really. It really, really wasn't stressful. Um, my parents, I mean, it's just my family. They was there. They they just, that's that supporting group. Um, you know, just, anywhere I, I was going to go, it was just going to be, you know, that pick, and I was just ready to go to this, uh, that state or wherever I was going to be and just get to going. Well, you were in New York, and mm -hmm. Jets fans roll pretty deep in right. New York to the draft. <laughs> yes. And it seemed like you really tried to embrace them right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little about what, how you interacted with them in New York? Um, you know, just saying the Jets chant. Um, I know they love that, and you know, just showing that I'm, that I'm ready to play. Um, you know, we're we're in the city, and so it's it's time to uh, play like a Jet and, and fly high. Fly high. <laughs> Do you think that because you kind of come from a system that that focuses a lot on the run, mm -hmm. that that maybe that's in part a reason why you were perhaps a little bit overlooked by some of the other teams because your numbers certainly aren't like eye-popping numbers compared to a lot of other guys at your position. It, it definitely was, it definitely was, but um, you know I had to show as much as I could um, the offseason um, going down to IMG and bringing some Florida and making sure that um, I score very well in, uh, in the, at the combine and of course on the pro day and when I had individual um, workouts and going up there to have my interview uh, with the teams, you know, that was that was a big thing for me. So, you know, really, the, basically the offseason is really the thing that kind of helped me out and boost my confidence. Were you the second fastest guy at the combine? No, I was the first fastest. You were the first fastest. And I was the first fastest. You, and you know that, and yes, you're proud of that. Yeah, they um, I actually we actually got the the big um, I guess the final 40s, and my 40. Uh, well, hand time was faster than the, the other guys for the hand time. Where did you get that speed? I mean, obviously, genetics got to play in some part, but was there anything as a kid that you did that, um, that sort of muscle memory-wise that got, gave you that speed? Or? Uh, I started running track at the age of eight, and it was just been, since then, just fast, fast, fast. Uh, my, my dad was a big sports guy, and my mom, she was fast also. And, you know, just having a competitive family was a big thing. So you like to run and you're pretty good at it, right? Yeah, definitely. Not bad? Yeah. Going now into the Jets system and with that team, mm -hmm. obviously it's, it's a fascinating team. Exactly. They always certainly have something going on there. Tons of talk about the quarterback. Mm -hmm. What's your take on that situation? Um, my take on the situation is, is just coming in there with a positive attitude. Um, you have two gr great quarterbacks. Uh, Tim Tebow, you have, you know, he's he's a winner. You know, left-handed quarterback. You know, his, his style is different, of course, from Mark Sanchez because Mark Sanchez is a right-handed quarterback. And Mark Sanchez, he's, he's a different type of quarterback, too. Like, both of their balls have different spins. So, you know, just working out with both of them, um, it, it really helps me a lot. Have you been out to dinner with either, either of them? Uh, no, I haven't been at the, out to dinner, but uh, we just we make sure we be in the team meetings together and you know, out on the field, we talk a lot. Right, I mean, it's gotta be a, a, a process of trying to get to know everyone around yeah. you, especially those two guys, right, I'd right, imagine. Definitely. Um, what do you think, other than your speed, uh, you bring to that position, to the position of wide receiver? What's What are some of your best attributes? Um, I feel like my best attributes um, 
with, without speed, of course, is, is definitely my physicality. I'm very physical. Um, of course, coming from an office that blocks a lot. Uh, so it's, being physical is my big, biggest asset. I think that's interesting because that's not always necessarily the case. Right, definitely. At, at your position, it seems like something you're proud of. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely proud of it because uh, once you get the corner, you know, uncomfortable, that's when the time to throw the ball is, is is really good because he don't know what you're gonna do. Is so he gonna block him or you're gonna run him out? So he's anticipating. From now until the first game of the season, what do the next few months look like for you? Working as working out as hard as I can. Um, making sure I understand the playbook um, really well, making sure it's, it's like second nature to me. And um, definitely getting with the quarterbacks um, and, you know, working out with San Antonio, San Antonio Holmes and, you know, helping me out. He's definitely helped me out a lot. Really? How so? Um, just showing me how to run different types of routes, uh, showing me how to keep my, just showing body language because you can't show certain things because you have the smartest corners out here that it can jump your route really great. So. It's, he, he's showing me a lot. Nice to have sort of a guy that can be a mentor, right? Definitely. And teach you. Are you on Twitter, by the way? I definitely am on Twitter. You are? Yes. What's your Twitter handle? It's underscore Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Hill, H-I-L-L, -L, underscore. Underscore Stephen Hill, underscore. That's right. What's up with the two underscores? Oh, nothing. It just that's the only one that was uh, available. That was it? <laughs> like, I got to think up something. Yeah, I had to think up something. <laughs> something original, something right, different. Right. OK, so. One other thing I'm curious about, all those teams that passed you up, does that give you any sort of extra motivation? That gives me a lot of motivation. Um, I've always played it with a chip on my shoulder, but now it's like two chips on my shoulder. Uh, but you know, I mean, it's, it's, that's, that's about life. That's definitely the NFL, but uh, you know, every time I play each one of them, it's gonna be something uh, special. And are you prepared for the crazy, insane New York Jets fans? Oh, definitely. Yes, yes, definitely. You know, it's going to be ups and downs, and, uh, you know, I hear, I'm going to hear certain things, but, you know, that's, that's life. You don't have to deal with that. Definitely. Well, Stephen Hill, I think New York Jets fans are going to have something exciting to watch. So definitely, thanks for yes. joining us today, and definitely. don't forget he's got a couple underscores in his Twitter name. <laughs> <laughs> Follow him on Twitter. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some more.